Yo, this is it on the place. Pokemon Black 2. We're heading off to Nimbasa City. To go there, go up to Route 4, and then just head north to get to the gate here. But this time, things have changed. Why there's so much bling bling here? Is there just an ordinary gate? Think again. Because welcome to the Join Avenue. What is Join Avenue? Let them ahead of us explain to us. Hmm, what shall I do? I can't possibly manage everything. Hello there! Welcome to Join Avenue! We don't have anything yet, as you see. So it's just an avenue at this point. Oh, where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. I am the owner of Join Avenue. My dream is to go around the world. Building avenues that bustle with lots of people. The problem is, I have no one I can trust to manage the avenue. Something just struck me! You seem to be a trainer traveling around, aren't you? You naturally meet people from all over this region, don't you? I know it seems sudden, but will you manage the avenue for me? Of course we do, because this one can give us some benefits, for sure. Especially if we do the right buildings and right shops. It can be very cool. Think of it as a side quest thing. Thank you so much! Okay, tell me what kind of person you are. What will be your favorite phrase that you use to greet everyone? Warning, the words you're about to enter may be sent to other players. Please consider them carefully before you register them. Now I think I can make a quote. And if you think with people, they can tell you the quotes. Let's say, um... Um, let's say... Uh, let's just make it simple. Uh... Yo... <laughs> Yo, peeps. Yo, peeps. That's a great line. Then what will you say when something truly moves your heart? Would you something universal, a phrase that anyone will understand? You know. Then you have to say something else. Um, something moving. Um, let's just say. <laughs> very b very bland and boring, but okay. Let's just make this quick. Cool. Yo, Pips. Cool. I knew it. You are the one. Who else will be so well suited to managing the avenue? Sir, it's almost time for your next appointment. Oh, I almost forgot. My assistants, you heard me. I must leave now, so please support our newest manager. Yes, sir. Please take care of yourself. No. Oh. Pleased to meet you. How should we address you? Um. How should we address me? Um. Let just be really, really, just like super cocky. You'll dress me as Lord. I'm Lord Satano to you. Lord, now that you have won to manage the development of the avenue, please turn it into a wonderful attraction where many people visit. I'll explain how to develop the avenue, so please talk to me when you're ready. Lord, you'll explain what you need to know to become truly superior in this role. To make it more attractive, you want useful city improvements. For example, shops. In order for you to make a shop, you'll need someone who has a dream. You then have to invite that person to join the avenue. Speaking of invitation, someone is coming this way. Why don't you invite that person? Okay. Hey, you. Amazing! Is this a new avenue? It doesn't look like anyone has built a shop here yet. Maybe I can make my dream come true here. Well, let's invite this guy. If I were to make my dream come true on this avenue, I want to collect unique items to surprise everyone. Yeah, uh, sure. Thank you. Amazing. A nice antique shop called Janus Antiques was built. Let's visit Janus Antiques. Alright, let's visit his antiques. He has now has a shop for us. Let's check it out. Amazing, Lord. Find a rare treasure. Okay, let's see what you have. Your chunk C rank. And uh, you have a super big box. So 
can buy these things, you can appraise them and see what's inside. Pit Pat, Lord. How are you? Genesis Antiques Shine rank is 1. If the player goes up by 200, it'll reach the next rank. And I'll say Pit Pat. Lord, thanks for your help in advance. Okay. Sounds good to me. Um, congratulations, you just made your first shop! But having a shop means nothing if you don't have any customers. You need to talk to a customer and recommend the shop. Speaking of recommendations, someone is coming this way. Why don't you recommend our shop? Okay. Fan, is it a new avenue? I wonder if it has any great shops. Let's recommend. Do you have any great shops that opened recently? Let's go with Janice Antiques. Let's recommend that. Yeah, I'm off! Venus has come to Janice Antiques. Amazing! Fun! Janice Antiques? It's a wonderful place! Venus is really happy now. Janice Antiques popularity went up by 40 points. Cool. Join Avenue's popularity went up by 40 points. Yeah. Congratulations. You just recommended the shop and that made the popularity of the Avenue go up. You raised popularity of shops and the Avenue to make it famous. A good thing for bringing more customers is to use the communication features. You should turn on the singer to attract a lot of passerby. You should also attract communication facilities such as the Union Room and the Global Terminal. Lord, we'll be serving as your assistants in the room over here. Please come visit us. If you excuse us. Now, of course, this thing can become really cool, especially if you have the communication features on. You can do some uh, trading with people using that on your DS system, or 3DS if you play on that one. But, of course, I won't be really using that, but it still has a lot of cool features here. There's a lot of space here. We're opening shops. You can have a lot of different shops here, and some of them are really important. Some of them you can get some really cool items, like, like evolutional stones and so on. So if you really want to pay attention to it, then sure, go ahead and do that. If not, then you're not not like you have to. But um, it's a bit of a cool side thing. Now that in Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, making the game a bit more open to do other stuff. And there we are in Nimbasa City. In the Ambassador City, hey! I heard at the Gear Station you can have Pokemon battles in the subway! So I came here to test my skills, and what do you know? The subway bosses were here! Isn't that amazing? I mean, they're the strongest trainers in Gear Station! And they said that they'll battle if it's two on two! This is an amazing opportunity! Would you please battle with me? Sure thing! Oh, the name's Rosa! And yes, that's indeed the female playable character. If you were to, um, if you were to be the male character, I mean the female character, then of course the male character will be there instead. So that's a bit different, though. Um, so now I get to play a bit, though. So of course, if you play as the female, you'll be playing with Nate, the male character. And if you are the male character, you will play with Rosa, the female character. It's become the best part ever and surpasses subway bosses. So I'll have you challenge the subway boss up with me then. And here we go. Having a battle in a place like this is a little irregular, but must have happened for a reason. Battling a different place will let me see different scenery and I might learn something too. Now, Emmett, if you have something to add, please. Follow the rules and drive safely! We're headed for victory all aboard! Here we go with the subway bosses. We're gonna fight off against subway boss Ingo and subway boss Emmett. They have one Pokemon each, and that will be Bulldore and Girder. One fighting type and one rock type. We're also with Duvot, and I'll be using Servine. All right. So this one is actually good for us. So Bulldore is a fighting type, and Girder is a rock type. That means both Duvot and myself will do a lot of damage to Girder, I mean to Bulldor, while Girder will basically stand there and deal damage to us. But that's fine now. Water Pulse from Duvot onto Bulldor. That'll be super effective. And the damage is oh so good, but the sturdy prevents him from getting KO'd in a single turn. But he cannot survive it twice. I'll do my Leaf Tornado and that will KO Bulldor. Bulldor's sturdy will only work 
if you have more than one health active. Servine then takes care of um, Baldar. Here comes Wake Up Slap from uh, Girder on to do what? Get him on the damage there. And now we'll continue. Let's do the Leaf Tornado on the Girder. Do it with Water Pulse. We'll land on the Girder. Will it survive? Oh, it will barely! Critical hit there. And here comes Leaf Tornado from Servine that will finish off the Girder. This dual battle is over. And as with that, Servine is level 22. And same thing with Watchhog. Also learned Super Fang. That's a very, very important move. I would recommend getting this one, especially in this stage of how powerful it is. Because Super Fang reduces HP of your target by 50%. Of course, you always go with the, to the current help. Of course, you cannot kill anything with Super Fang. If you face off against a very tough trainer, like a Watchdog can face off, let's say Watchdog face off something that they cannot get killed with, you Super Fang, and it's going to take down the opponent's health to half. So, if fighting off against some real tough trainers, maybe some gym leaders, Super Fang can become a really important thing, especially if you get to hit it first, or just survive the first turn and then use Super Fang. And that's why we beat Ingo and Emmett. Bravo! What you showed us is the spark of trainers. However, let me just say one thing. Please move on to an even greater goal. I am Emmett. I lost together with Ingo. Your combination is the best. Perfect. You're very strong trainers. And we got oh, oh my god, so much money. Ten thousand Poké Dollars. That's really sweet. Bravo! The combination of you and your Pokémon is truly fantastic. I'm Emmett. Well, I may have lost to you. I had a good time. Let's play again sometime. Yes, definitely. Next time, please ride the subway and battle with us there. Well done. We're off. All aboard. They were so tough even when they were holding back for us. That's the subway bosses for you. I want to get even stronger and battle with the subway bosses when they're giving it their all. Thanks, Itano. This is a token of my appreciation. Please take it. And we get a very cool item, which is called the Versus Recorder. When you have the Versus Recorder, you can record your battles with your friends or battles on the battle subway. Sitano, I had a really great time battling with you. Hope we can battle together again sometime. See you! Yeah, so again, if you are playing as the male character, that will be Rosa you'll be teaming up with. Of course, if you are playing as the female character, we'll be playing with Nate, the male character that I'm playing right now. That was pretty cool, though. Now then, what to do now? So, Nimbasa City has a gym. We also have some different things, like there's a gear station we just went to now, the battle subway, which is where you can get battle points. You have the uh, stage gym and the small court for some uh, more trainer battles. We have a musical theater. We have... Uh, a lot of things. You have a roller coaster, the Ferris wheel, and more importantly, we have the Nimbasa gym. Yeah, that's where we want to go, right? Now, of course, what should we do now? I suggest we go check out the stadiums first. So we have one here. This is the musical theater, which we can do some musical stuff. And if you go here, you have the big stadium. And if you go here, you have the small court for tennis and basketball. Let's check out this one first. Let's see what we have time for. Tennis players are practicing in small court now. You can watch them practicing. Okay, can I go inside them? We can. We can battle them too, maybe? An elegant smash has an elegant battle. Oh, they really want to battle us too! That's pretty cool, so even athletes can battle with train with Pokémon. Here we go against Smasher Elena. And she has a Blitzel. It's of course the Electric Horse. Level 26! Oh my god, that's a very high level. I need to really level after this episode. Well, else I get crushed in the gym. I mean, I know the Pokémon level above level 22, 23. This is gonna be very rough, but luckily, I'm a grass type with Servine. Servine is resistant to electric moves, so we'll take the reduced damage. Leaf Tornado on to Blitzel. Pretty good damage, actually. One more should do it. Blitzel with Pursuit. 
onto um, Servine. Damage is pretty low. I'm paralyzed, will not be able to move, so the turn is wasted. Another turn gone. Let's with Flame Charge. This will hurt because I'm weak to fire. And it's gonna do, wow, almost half my damage. And of course, every time you use Flame Charge, your speed goes up by one. Here comes another Leaf Tornado onto Blitzel. Will it be enough? It will be enough. Blitzel goes down. Phew, that was a very interesting one. Even though I lost, I won't panic. Ooh. Won't be good to panic, though. I panicked here, I give you this. And we get a potion. That's very nice of them to give to us, though. Because I'm a lady, I won't be charging at losing the battle. Oh, really? So apparently female tennis players are good losers. Or maybe she just may be a, a special kind of treatment person. I don't know. Here's the potion on to Servine that we just got. So one more. Just need to use a uh, Paralyze Seal on to Servine. Get rid of that Paralyzes. Let's see, there's someone else we can fight. Only female trainers here. Okay. Guess they're female tennis trainers. Well, let's check. Before we end this episode, let's check out as well the uh, big stadium here. There's more players we can fight. Let's go inside here. Let's see what we can find. Here we go. Let's try to fight this guy. Power! Power is essential for both Pokemon and football. Mm, okay. Uh, let's see your tactic then. I'm gonna fight off against. The linebacker Dan with two Pokemon. The first of his Pokemon will be Darmaka. Darmaka, of course, is a fire type, level 25, pretty good level. He's a fire type Pokemon you can capture back at the desert resort and Route 4. So if you need the fire type and you don't have your starter, or like Growlithe, for example, then Darmaka is a good choice. Especially if you play uh, black and white, because then you don't have any pre generation fire Pokemon to use, which is a bit sad. Okay, so fire types, which means you can't use grass moves. Uh, we'll do a little damage just to return. I'll be doing a bit low damage there, but not much you can do about it. Fire punch! Oh my god, that's a one hit KO on my Servine! Blah! Damn it. Alright. Um, let's get in Watchhog instead. Watchhog in against the uh, Darmaka. Let's use Super Fang to cut his health first by 50%. Here we go, Super Fang hits. That person very low. Here comes another Fire Punch. Duramaka. Oh my god, he almost won the KO me without Super Effective. Let's do Crunch now. Will it be enough to take down the Duramaka? Oh, so close! But not enough. Here comes the Uproar from Duramaka that will probably KO me. Yeah, they will. Damn it, that was so close. It's close, but no cigar. Growlithe. Yeah, I want you to finish this one off. I really need to train after this one. Get myself so much stronger. Let's just finish this guy off with a reversal. Here we go. Don't be doing that much damage though, but it will be enough. Reversal lands onto the Ramaka. And it will get KO'd. Well played, Growlithe. That was a bit interesting fight, but we'd still win. Level 22 on Growlithe now. And they still one more Pokemon. Here comes a Timber! Let's get in Pidov. Timber is a fighting type, so we want to counter fighting with flying. Or of course Psychic if you have that. But uh, I think we'll do well with flying. Let's get in Pidov versus Timber. So P Timber is a fighting type. Let's go Air Cutter. Air Cutter comes. He's gonna land on Timber. Not enough for half damage, but that's okay. Rock throw. Uh oh, very bad. This is a rock type move, and it's a super effective move on Pidov. But just try one more air cutter. Hopefully, get a critical strike. No, we will not. Wake up slap on to Pito. And we're doing normal damage because Pito is normal and flying, which means it neutralizes the weakness it has for fighting as a normal type, uh, being a flying type. That was unfortunate. Um, Lee part is weak to fighting, same as Magnemite, so let's get in Growlithe again to finish this one off. Growlithe, I need you to fight one more time with Fire Fang. Growlithe also has the Quick Club, we'll get to move first. Because the Fire Fang lands on Timber! That'll be enough to KO! Well done, Growlithe! Didn't I have enough power? Probably not. 
I may not have enough power. We're not lacking in kindness. Oh, that's so nice of him, getting us a potion. I'm training to be the very best with that Pokemon. Sounds like the team song. I want to be the very best. Yeah. I'm gonna sing it for you guys, because I don't really have a singing voice. Anyway, that's coming end of this episode. Next episode, guys, I'm gonna do some more training. That's for sure, at least between episodes I'll do training. Maybe check out some more stuff here. And then we're gonna go to the Nimbasa Gym and get my badge number four. Remember, electric types are opponents, so make sure you have something to counter, like a ground type Pokemon, or even a rock type, because one of them is electric flying. But generally, the ground type are the best way to go, because they're mute electric. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. And that's great for now. See you guys next time as my story of Pokemon Black 2 will indeed continue.